and what's going on guys i'm your boy and it's been let's see it's been about three days since christmas has passed and this time i'm gonna get on why i've been gone considering i think i pulled for the last video like a couple weeks ago so it hasn't been that long it hasn't been like what two months it was like two months or something from the granny vid up until the vid where i explained why i was gone and the whole youtube problems that are about to be coming into effect in about a week from now so that's kind of concerning but um this video is basically what i did last year just an overhaul on what i got for christmas all the goodies and everything that i got and so without further ado why don't we just jump into it because this is just kind of a minor video and I'm planning on trying to get a stream out tomorrow, so if it's not tomorrow, it's probably the day after, so look out for that if you want to um, see what I'm doing. But uh, without further ado, why don't we get started on this haul. So the first thing that we got here is a little ba bomb from, of course, um, you can get it in focus there, uh, Mario. So yeah, I mean, you could, you could probably see it if it wasn't in focus, but yeah. The bomb for Mario, it's a pretty simple, it's just a ball that is a blackish or bluish black kind of color. And um, light blue is used for the base for the uh, part where you ignite it, so it um, lights up and starts exploding. And that's what it used to do, I think that's how it used to be, but then they added the little thing back here, the little twisting thing so it would ignite. And they also added legs, because they never had legs, they just kind of looked like this. The old ones kind of looked like this. If I can get it. There we go. They were like the, they were kind of pushed in. And so now they have legs for the modern versions. And of course he's got white eyes. And he's got a little hanging thing back here, but I didn't ever hang him up, because I didn't actually really have a spot for him to be hung up on. And, of course, as I showed before, he's got his tag, which... It's from 2017, and he was, of course, made by Sanchi, and I think Little Buddy. Uh, here's the back version of it. He's kind of tilted a bit, so. There we go. Polyester fiber and plastic pellets inside, yes. Um, on the bottom of him, I'm glad I looked at the tag, because on the bottom of him, if you can hear, I'm kind of putting it up to the microphone. I don't know if you can hear, but he's got, you know, this little things inside of his kind of, like, <laughs> butt area. And so, if you try to... Uh, throw him down like that he usually always lands on his bottom part and so he looks like this and so every single time a toy usually has that that means you know if you try to sit him down uh they always will look normal and they won't like fall over or anything and our next character that we'll look at our next thing that we got here i think also has them and of course to finish him off there we go. He's got his tag, and I kind of glued it, but there's really nothing important. Oh, wait, I don't think I did. Um, so yeah, this is tag on the inside. Um, dude, he's made in Vietnam. Whoa, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, this is, oh, I need to bend it open a little bit. Um, let's see. So that's like the Japanese sort of writing in there. And yep, he was made... Um, by Little Buddy, along with Sanchi, um, and so yeah, you can, uh, yeah, you can also get him online on their website back here, um, if it will read, I don't know, it's like, the focus never sometimes works, but yeah, here we go, littlebuddy.com, and on the back, there's kind of like the, uh, thing back here, so I'm covering that up, but, oh wait, there we go. Yeah, trademark Nintendo, our officially Nintendo product, February 2017, Sanchi. Zero to three-year-old kids cannot have this toy, it's seven plus. I am 14, so I should definitely be able to have this. And yep, design matcher by Sanchi and uh, Little Buddy in Tokyo, Japan. And so with that, uh, that kind of concludes the bomb. He's a simple plush, but he's also really cool, so that's it for him. So he can go explode over there. And we'll get to another Mario thing. Actually, I have, like, there's one more after that. That's, uh, one more after this one that's a Mario thing as well. But this should look familiar. Your casual tax frauder, Yoshi. Um, if you don't know the meme, then uh, have you been living under a rock? But yeah, um, if you remember from a previous review, I did a red Yoshi review. And, um... This is, you know, the, just the, the modern or the 
classic your regular Yoshi that's green and um he's actually you know also actually I don't know if the I don't, I don't think the original red Yoshi was from the um the all-star collection series and yeah this Yoshi's from that series basically the same sort of thing I'll briefly show the inside oh this is made in China this time um and so yeah it's basically the same sort of deal as the red Yoshi of course it's just the um regular Yoshi green color he's got his tag he was made also in 2017 by Sanchi so yeah trademark Super Mario and he actually has a hanger part and I actually did hang him up because I hung up red Yoshi so I was like I might as well hang up the green one as well because I didn't actually have any room for him anywhere He's got his red saddle, his orange and yellow shoes, which actually, I, I forgot, yeah, the red one had blue and yellow. This one's got orange and yellow, and he's still got a red saddle because they all have red saddles, I believe. And the orange kind of mohawk stuff or whatever these even are. He's got his black eyes, black nostrils, and his tiny little arms. And yeah, just like the bomb I'm doing up to the mic, I don't know if you can hear, but he also has the little beads, or whatever they're calling, you know, the, the, let's see, it's in the tag, I'm gonna look at it real quick, sorry Yoshi, on the back, wait, I think it's on the, yeah, it's on the back of his tag, so, um, polyester fiber and pl pl plastic pellets, that's what they're called, plastic pellets are put inside the bottoms of some plushies to make them sit upright, and that's what Yoshi does, he can sit upright if you, just sit him down like that. So it's pretty cool, just like the ba-bomb. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for Yoshi's. This is the same as the red one with different colors. Of course, the green is not red, and the shoes are not blue, rather orange. And, you know, there's this tag. And so yeah, that's it for Yoshi, so we can throw him where ba-bomb is. This is the last Mario plush, but it's actually a kind of cool one. Hey, it's my channel avatar. No, it's actually way different than my channel avatar, but it's a mushroom regardless. Um, and this just kind of looks like a normal mushroom plush. It's, you know, got the red color. It's got the brighter yellowish, I guess you could say, color with the black eyes, with the pupils, and of course the white spots. But, oh wait, we should probably show off the tag first. If I can get it. Actually, I lost the bigger tag that's supposed to go with it, so I can't really show that off. But it's part of World of Nintendo. And um, it's just kind of like in different languages back there. But the main part of this plush is if... Hold on real one second. Alright, so I finally got it. And um, off screen, it was kind of annoying to start it up. But if you move it just a little bit... It makes a power-up sound, and uh, there we go. It makes a one-up sound as well. And so it's kind of annoying, though, because every single second you move it, it makes the sound, and it's just kind of annoying, especially when you're turning it on. It's just kind of annoying. But it's a cool sort of play feature. But you're, if you give your like baby this, then it will annoy the hell out of you. I'm <laughs> uh, sorry, but it probably would. And so I just keep it off because... I mean, hey, it's a normal mushroom plush if it's off, but if it's on, it's kind of annoying, but really, that's kind of it for it, besides the play feature, um, I'm just gonna turn it off, there we go, <laughs> that's it for the mushroom, really, um, it has a cool play feature, it's just kind of annoying regardless, so, eh. Alright, the next one is actually not Mario, but it is more Nintendo stuff, it is a little curvy keychain, and this is pretty cool, actually, it's got... Uh, you know, the main curry features, the cheeks, his eye, actually he's winking, so one of the eyes is closed, he's smiling, and he's got, it's kind of like his victory pose when he wins, like, the level, he goes, and so he goes like that, and yeah, as I said, it's a keychain, so it's got this, you can clip it on to your, like, yeah, your keys, or backpack, or something like that, and he's got, actually, he's got another tag here. I kept most of them because I like to keep the tags, um, because they're usually cool. Uh, this is made by Tommy, and it's Kirby, and he's the club Moch, Mo Mochi, Mochi, I guess? I don't know if I said that right. Um, new material only, um, and I, wait, 
Does he have it? No, he doesn't have the beads. I guess polyester fiber is another... What do you two kind of polyester fiber? Okay. That's another the package tag. Um, so yeah. That's kind of it. He's got his red shoes, and yeah, he's in a pose, and that's his back. Nothing much on there. But yeah, here's his tag. I don't know if I opened it, but it's got Kirby with Clo Mochi Mochi game style. 3 plus. Yeah, 3 plus. I was making sure I read that right. Here's the back of it. Yeah, Tommy, Clo Mochi Mochi, Nintendo, How Laboratory, made in China. And inside is more of these details. And so, yeah, a cool looking tag and a cool looking keychain. And so that's kind of it for uh, this Kirby keychain. So, eh. Alright. Uh, we have one more kind of plush here. And it's not really assigned to anything. It's just a holiday thing. It is giant. I have to, like, pan up for it. It is this giant snowman. It's actually kind of a decoration, as I found out when I wanted this. So... I guess it's not really a toy, but hey, I have it regardless, so we can look over it. So, um, let's start at the bottom. Uh, down here he's got, instead of coal or I guess buttons or whatever, these are actually like glass or plastic snowflakes or whatever, which is cool. And then right here, hanging down, he's got a scarf, which is like plaid or like a black and red color with this little ball at the end. And moving up here, he's got these red mittens. And I'm gonna have to like move the camera for this. Um, you know, go, the scarf goes around his neck, obviously. He actually has got two things hanging down right here, as you can see. And yeah, there's the other mitten. And his face is your average snowman face. He's just got the coal, I guess you could say, kind of mouth. He's actually got, whoa, he's actually got cheeks right here, as you see with the pink. And he's got coal eyes, and he's actually got a carrot nose. And his hat is actually pretty different. It's another black and red color, but this actually looks more plaid. And he's got this these leaves with, is it like cherry? I don't remember what it's supposed to be, but he's got that on his hat. And backside, ugh, there's the other stuff back there. Um, oh yeah, the bottom, this is how he kind of stands upright. Uh, he's got this like cardboard sort of thing on the bottom of him, so it feels really weird. But yeah, that kind of is it for the snowman guy. He's pretty large, and he's a pretty cool, festive sort of thing. So, get over there. Um, he's kind of still a but whatever. Alright, now, we're gonna turn into a, uh, a Lego channel here, because I have two Lego sets that I got, because I thought they were cool. And they're both Star Wars, I mean, hey, why not? Because Mandalorian Chapter 8 came out um, today, and kind of yesterday, like midnight. Um, um, like, you know, way, like, many hours ago, and I'm recording this, it's actually, I think, 12 right now, so technically yesterday, <laughs> um, was when it released, and Rise of Skywalker also came out, so, why the heck not, we can review these, and so we're gonna turn into a Lego channel here, so, watch out for that. So, the first set we are gonna look at is the 20th anniversary, um, I'm gonna move it over there so it can stand like that. The 20th anniversary, um, ATSC, what is it called? I have the box right here. We're gonna look at that first. Um, yes, the, oh, Clone Scout Walker. Okay, yeah, oop. So, yeah, this is the box. We're gonna look at this first. So, yeah, of course, this is Lego Star Wars, um, and yeah, it is the 20th anniversary, 1999, 2019. So, by the time 2019 rolls around, this is a year old set. <laughs> Um, and it comes with a Darth Vader 20, 20th anniversary that the, the walkers, we can just move it out of the way for a moment. The Darth Vader minifigure, um, it's kind of, I don't really know if it's focusing, but, um, you can go ahead and give a little 360 on it, um, right there, and he's got the basic 1999 printing right there. Again, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm trying to shine the light on it. Or have, like, the light shine on it. There we go. Um, and of course, if you take off the helmet... Oh, his lightsaber just came off. Take off the helmet. The very old Darth Vader face. 
Um, and just to show you, because like every other LEGO channel does, there is no... Oh wait, there is back printing, I forgot. On the original one there's not, but on the back... Oh god. On the back it says 20 years, LEGO Star Wars, 1999 to 19... Or 1999 to 2019. Let me put back on the helmet. Because he looks way cooler with it on. And of course he's got this exclusive plate that he stands on that says 20 years, LEGO Star Wars, Darth Vader. And you take that and put it over there. So we're done with him. Let's get back to the box though. Um, it comes with 250 pieces of Billy toy, and it comes with a Wookiee Warrior, a Kashyyyk Trooper, and a Battle Droid. So this is like prequel set, and yeah, Disney. Ooh. Um, and so the back of the box is pretty neat. Um, shows you like the play features with the walker and the little spider. I have to actually bring everything up here, so I'm gonna put it in the background. Everything in the background there. Um, so yeah, these are, uh, of course, um, these are all the 20th anniversary figures you can get. Lando, Han, Luke, Leia, and we have Vader here. And this is actually a remake. Each 20th anniversary set is like a remake of a old set that they made. And this one is a, actually a, yeah, 2005 set. It was a, it's an updated version of the Clone Scout Walker, originally released in 2005 as SKU 7250. And that's the original set right there, the box. And yeah, these are the play features right here. And this is the set number for this one. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, on the top here, it says Darth Vader minifigure again. And so that's really it for the box. So why don't we get into the set here? Um, move Vader because we just looked at him. Um, whoops. And so why don't we take a look at the spider thing thingy I was previously talking about. We can actually use the box as a little prompt for everything. So this is the spider droid, and I'll move this weird looking battle droid and Wookiee out of the way here. We'll talk about them in a second. Um, this is the spider droid. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. Um, it's got a fire, a push fire missile, so if you hold this thing down, then, oh god, yeah, it fires that, but now I don't know where it went, um, I guess I'll find it later, um, he's got these red eyes that are attached to a sort of, let's see, it's, no, it's kind of like actually a droid hand, and so, they can move up and down, and apologies for the weird kind of camera, or I mean quality, I don't know, it just kind of does that. And it's got like a round head, and it's attached, actually these are also droid bodies I think that it's using for legs, so you can see that. Again, I said returning to the LEGO channel, but I'm not going super in depth because I don't know all the names and everything of the bricks so i'm just showing like a 360 of it so you can get a look at it for yourself um and so yeah it's also got this antenna up here and that's kind of it for this thing so it's a little mini build that you can include with the set and before we get to the locker we have um this little defense thing i just put the droid on here because i need to fit him on it so we can take him off we can actually look at him so this is your standard, I don't know what he's doing, man. He's like bending over and stuff like that. This is your standard battle droid. He's got a yellow kind of color, and he comes with a blaster, and he's built up of one, two, three, four, five pieces. And he's got, actually wait, I think I built him wrong. I think the circular piece is supposed to go behind him. So oops, I guess I'll fix that later. But it's used to attach things, and so, yeah, that's pretty much the battle droid. It's just supposed to be a quick little thing you can put together. And we also have the Wookiee Warrior, which is way more, way more interesting. He actually comes with, um, I'm trying to push off with one hand. I guess I'll have to. There we go. His head in like main area is actually one piece. And if you take it off, it's just a brown body with leg printing. Nothing, well, and nothing on the back here. <clears throat> here. Weird voice crack. And let me just try to put it back on. This is not a professional Lego channel. This is amateur or bad Lego channel. Do not watch for Legos because I am not good at those. 
at least reviewing them. I'm good at putting them together. Alright, and he also comes with this little gun here, which is actually, I think, um, old, like an old style gun that they used to use. And so you can get a look at his face here. Well, hopefully, because this camera is bad at getting, like, you know, focusing. Um, oh, well, why did it suddenly go, like, really out of focus? There we go. Um, so that's his face. And I'll give a one, a quick, re or one, not 180, um, 360, I guess. Add him. He only really has printing on the front part. Everything else is kind of brown. And so that's it for that Wookie Warrior. My fingers keep getting in the way. That's why it's kind of hard to see. There we go. There we go. That's actually better. So yeah, that's it for the Wookie Warrior. And he's just got this little mini build where he can fire this gun. And it's also got these little black pieces. I don't even know if I put them together because they're always all wobbly and stuff. So who knows <laughs> if I did or not. And so... There's that, 360 on it, why not? And yeah, that's it for that. So now we can get on to the main part of the set. And the main guy that uh, armor or like works it is this clone scout trooper. Um, he's kind of like the precursor to, you know, the scout troopers from, <laughs> that was embarrassing, from Return of the Jedi. And actually they made an appearance in The Mandalorian spoiler um so there he is he's got cool camo printing and he's actually you know got a helmet piece so if you take it off he's just got the standard kind of clone face i guess you could say or stormtrooper kind of face that they use and so he comes with a blaster well well he doesn't really need it since he's manning an uh a walker um so there's the side and the back he actually, yeah he's got back printing there's some pouches and stuff like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for him. Now we can get on to the main thing that he uh, maintains, which is this Scout Walker. Um, again, not going to go into full detail since, yeah, I'm not a Lego channel, but uh, that was just great. It is a very cool build. Um, I might get rid of this since it's kind of hard to see the full thing on screen. Um... Whoa, now that messed it up a bit. Okay. Um, so this is the Scout Walker. Um, it's got a green main kind of color scheme because it's on Kashyyyk. And it's also got other colors here, like there's blue right there. And it also has a fire uh, stunt launcher sort of thing. So you push this down. And it fires! Again, I'm going to have to find that one later. Um... And so up here is where you'll put him. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do that, but I'm going to try and put him up here. Uh, oh, oh, wait. I don't want to accidentally break it. All right, I think I did it. Yeah, he's up here and he maintains it with this little thing up here. And yeah, I'm not going to go full in detail on all the parts, but it's just kind of like... A walker, it's like kind of like the chicken walker, so here's like a 360 on the whole thing. <laughs> I've had to just do good comes and it's like, what is this trash? This is not a Lego channel, sir. You cannot do this. You're butchering the Lego genre on YouTube. And I am definitely doing so. He's got these cool feet though, and these circular joints right here. And he's actually got another gun right here, but he doesn't use it for some reason. He only uses this tiny one that had the stud launcher. But yeah, I really know not, not much else to say about it besides, I guess, these antennas up here. But yeah, that's really it for this Kashyyyk Clone Scout uh, Walker. Because I'm not a LEGO channel, I can't really go into detail. I mean, there's these sticker parts, but that's basically it. So why don't we get it out of here and I'll clean that up later. And there's only one more LEGO set, and it's a tinier one, so we can look at it easier. It is the Death Star. I have the box here as well. The, let's see, whoa. It's actually kind of a longer box, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, Death Star Cannon with 159 pieces. It's a building toy, 7 plus. And it comes with Obi-Wan and this Death Star Trooper, I guess, with Darth Vader up there. And it says, Lego Star Wars. In the back, 
shows you a play feature with um, the gen the shield generator, I believe, or no tractor beam uh, generator thing. And this guy's finding him right there, and a play feature, of course, with the Death Star cannon. And so that should be fun. Actual size Obi Wan minifigure. Is that actually true? We're gonna I'm gonna get him right now to look at, but we're just gonna look at. Him. And you know what? They're actually right. It is actual size. That's cool, actually. You can kind of, like, look at them. Oh. And we know you can get out of here, Box. We don't need you. So let's grab the other minifigure and look at them. So we'll look at the uninteresting one first. The Death Star Trooper here. He's got all black color with some torso and leg printing, which is actually pretty decent. Um, back here shows... More printing, it's again, the camera's kind of hard to focus on it, but you can see it right there, and his head, I think, is the same. Oh no, it's actually different. Hold on a second, it's kind of <laughs> Alright, I finally got it to move, because it wasn't looking at the right way. Um, so yeah, this is his printing. I thought it was going to be the same as the clone trooper, but it actually, he's got a headset, and he's kind of have like a plain, sort of nervous, actually, kind of looking face, in my opinion. Kind of looks a bit nervous. And his helmet... He's actually kind of cool. It's got the Empire symbol. I don't know why Obi Wan's still in the shot. The Empire symbol, and it's a pretty unique kind of shape going on here. This is, I think, a new mold. Actually, well, not for this set, but it is a new mold for current sets, I think. And he's got this tiny blaster that he goes pew pew with. Is so that's kind of it for that guy? And. This is obviously the main minifigure you want with this set. It's the older Obi-Wan Kenobi minifigure with a new hood piece. It's not the older one that they use. And so we'll take that off. So he's bald now. <laughs> um, so it kind of hangs down. It's got this little part in the back. And you just put it back on. And he's wearing a hood. Um, if it won't go, there we go. He carries his... Um, iconic, I guess you could say, blue lightsaber. And he's got the wrinkled robe printing on the front there with his wiser older face i'm trying to stay farther away because if it's farther away it won't focus um there you go he's actually surprisingly got i'm gonna take this off because it will fall off anyway he's got a weird also cape it's like a paper cape so it's kind of harder to lift up He's got back printing, which is interesting. You wouldn't think they would do it because he wears a cape and is wearing a hood. Um, and see what I mean about it? Oh yeah, I'm back because his cape was being kind of a nuisance and so it wouldn't go back down. So I had to put the camera down. And so, oh, the leg went up there. That works, I guess. So yeah, um, he's got, yeah, this weird paper cape, which I don't know why they gave him. They could have given him the softer capes, which are way easier to maintain. But yeah, that's really it for him, and so why don't we get on to the main set, which was where we'll put the minifigures at. Um, so, we put, where did he even go? Um, where did the Death Star Trooper go? Um, there he is. Ugh. I'm not really good at camera work, as you can see, but we will put him back here. Um, and put Obi-Wan right over, let's see, I'm going to put that down. There, wait, okay, there, put him right there. And so the main part of the set really is... The tractor beam right here, or yeah, tractor beam. If you pull this like that and then push, you can push that down there, and then so it's basically locked, like the tractor beam is down, and then push it back so it's up. And the other play feature is, of course, the Death Star cannon, where you just push it's also kind of like the push missiles or whatever from the other set. You aim it, um, like this and you push the green part forward and oh wait <laughs> i kind of did it wrong there we go okay you push it and wait, 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 wait. it's kind of having a bit of a trouble going there we go it's 
kind of like right here. I didn't really pick it up, but there's that. And so, um, that's that play feature. And there's really not much to it. There's just this cannon, which is pretty cool looking, and the tractor beam where he powers it down, and the main structure. And yeah, there's really not much to say about it. It's just a kind of tiny set that you can buy. Um, so that's really all for this. And so we'll move this aside. And there's only one more thing that we're going to look at. And this is the big one, guys. Well, at least for me. I don't know if you've seen this coming. It is a Elgato capture card. And it's an HD 60S. One that I think a lot of people have, actually. And so, yeah, this allows me to record console games. Not yet, though. I haven't, I've haven't. i been having some issues with it because I don't have the right computer to actually run it. So, at some point, I'm going to get something that will be able to run it. But when I do get it, we can have console games to stream and, I guess, record. And so, this is the side right here. This is Game Characters HD 60S. And on the back, it basically shows you all the stuff. So... Um, it's like the setup thing you have right here to go live and record, instant production, we got the analog audio, HDMI input, the USB-C 3.0 Type-C, and the HDMI, um, output, and so it can work on Mac and Windows 10, and you got the system requirement, and yeah, that's the thing, I need a 3.0, um, USB thing on my computer and I don't and so you can record PS4 and PS4 Pro, Xbox One and One S, and of course Nintendo Switch, which is what I have. And so we will look at the main Elgato itself, which is nothing too special, it just has the HD 60S down there. And it's a really tiny size, which is really awesome. And of course, you have that at the bottom there. And, of course, you have the ports, the input, the audio, the USB, and the output of the HDMI. And so, yeah, that's it for this. And with that, that concludes the entire Crystal Hall. I'm not going to get everything because that would be really hard. But, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's kind of, a, it, hopefully it's not been a pain considering the Lego segment. That was probably, that's probably going to be the weakest part because I was... I was having some issues there. And so if you want, you can go ahead. I'll probably be obviously doing quick edits and everything to get through it quicker. But yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching, as I said before. And hopefully in a couple of days, I'll be able to get up a stream because I've been wanting to stream a certain game for a while. And because it's really fun, I want to just play it again. It's been forever. And so if I get it out, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you hopefully in that stream. Bye byes This laser is about to come right at you. Wait. Ugh, there we go.